Hello and welcome again to another video of basic fishing. I am out here kai fishing in Army Bay. Behind me is Lee. And uh, we are both are trying to see if we can get anything good out here. It's um Yeah, the last time I was at Army Bay, it was not a good memory from I remember. As this was a place where my pedal drive broke on me. Unfortunately, I still haven't got my pedal drive fixed. What a shocker. But I'm over it. Hence, that's why I got myself a Bixie kayak and a Bixie motor in the first place. Anyway, today we're going to see what's around and I'm hoping for some good fish today. I've got a dinner later and uh, I would like to take a big fish just to surprise um, people. But yeah, let's see what Army Bay has up for offer today. There's a few people out here and um, a lot of kayak anglers, seven including us. In fact, there's one, two, well, there was more, but there were loads of them. Oh, anyway, let's see what happens. Okay, so it was great to be back at Army Bay after a long time since my pedal drive broke on me. I wasn't sure how it was going to be since this was a popular fishing spot, but it was great to be out with um, Lee kayak fishing. Lee was testing out a friend's kayak, which was a stealth kayak, which I have to say, was an impressive paddle kayak. Now despite seeing a lot of fish signs in the fish finder, nothing was biting. But when Lee deployed his sabiki, we found out why. Very small bait fish schools. By small bait fish schools, I mean the bait fish were tiny. I've tried micro jigs, soft plastics, but the shallows weren't delivering anything impressive, both quantity and quality. However, as soon as we drifted to the deeper area up to 20 meters, I decided to switch to the Sunaku. I had a bite! <laughs> oh. It's been incredibly slow. Oh. But at least it's... Well, the slider works a lot better out in this depth, like 20 meters of water. But uh, it's not been so great. Oh. I'm feeling bites, but they're not committing. Oh. Yep, there we go. Oh, finally. Uh, I don't think it's legal. Hope it's a gurnet. No, oh, oh yeah. That that could be legal actually. Let's have a look. He could be very close. We'll let him go. He's just undersized. So, yep. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, another one. Oh, that's better. <laughs> I have to say today was painfully slow, but now that we're in the deeper zone, the slider is finally proving its worth. Oh, yep. That looks like legal. Hey, Lee, I think it might be worth um, deploying a sliders out here. Oh, he's blown up, so I might have to take him with me, but let's see if he's legal first. If he's not, then I'll let him go. Yeah, he's legal. That's a legal fish right there. Oh, finally a keeper. 
Turns out drifting out to the deeper zone proved to be a great idea after all. And so I decided to use the Sunaku as my go-to method. Snaps. <laughs> oh, I don't think it's legal, but still. I, I, I really enjoy fishing this method. It's one of my most favorite. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, wow. Just as, just as soon as it came to the surface. Oh, yep. See a little bit of sign at the bottom. Let's see if there's a snapper being hungry. But yeah, I mean, in in 20 meters of water, I think I prefer the Senaku of the soft plastic or the micro jigs any day. Because this, <laughs> you can do it very slowly. I've spoken to a few guys and they all say that slider style jig, they're not a big fan of it because of how boring it gets. It does get boring though when you keep catching a small undersized fish, but... Oh! When the fishing is slow, and you're desperate... This is a great alternative. I don't think it's a big fish again, but it's still pulling hard. I hope he's illegal. Oh! Oh yeah, it could be legal again. Yep. Ah, right in the face. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> this 80 gram candy floss color doing the job. Let's see if he's good. Oh yeah, he's more than good. It's not the biggest snapper I've caught, but it's a hard day's fishing. Now, while we were fishing, we ran into someone. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Henry catches fish. Yeah. Baby YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> Still, oh, more of a TikToker. <laughs> <laughs> I turned around and I saw old mate over there had two fish on at once. Oh wow! <laughs> what are you using, the Sunaku? Yeah, the Sunaku. Oh, yeah. I've got to say, um. As soon as we got to the 20 meter mark, then the fish started to bite. Oh! <laughs> Finally took its time. Oh! It's a good fish, alright. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I don't know what this could be. Oh, you're on. Nice. Yeah, I just saw a good sign here, too. Oh, nice. Whew. Yeah. Solid keeper. Check that fish out, it took a while, but finally got a good fish. 
Ah, uh, these snappers, they suffer from barrel trauma, so... Ah, oh, gee, this is well hooked. Oh. Oh, yeah, good sign. Finding fish at this depth, it's usually harder. <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> when you work hard enough and long enough, you get an epic reward like this. I love these fish. The good old Gurnard. Oh yeah. On the Sunaku. Good fish. Well, I don't know if it's good, but... Just wind it in slowly. Oh, yep. It's a good fight out of this fish. Phew. This might be another keeper. <laughs> oh, the Kawai! Huh. It's my first ever Kawai on the Sanaku. Oh. Hey, Hens, you want a um, carway for the live bait? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet! <laughs> yeah, that. Yep. Oh, you got a fish on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Yep. Thank you, mate. <laughs> You're welcome. Good, <laughs> good luck. Hopefully something big. Yeah, yeah. Fishing at the start was painfully slow, but as soon as the day progressed, the bite then started to happen. The fish size weren't fantastic but was enough for a feed. Then the wind picked up and me and Lee both decided to head back while Henry stayed behind and turned out the live bed I gave to him got eaten by a shark. But anyways while heading back to shore I realized that my big C battery was at its final bar and I was a long way back to shore. Eventually the battery died about 600 meters short from the shore and paddling back wasn't fun. It was exactly like the day when my paddle drive broke on me. Oh well, at least it didn't happen too far like it did before, but I really hope my paddle drive does get fixed soon. It's been too long, I swear to God. So that's it for today's video. I just got back. Another um, good session out at Army Bay again. Although, second time I had to paddle back to shore. I really hope my pedal drive gets fixed. Uh, but anyways, if everyone has enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And to Henry, who's still out there, hope you caught something good out there. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you all next time.